Hello everyone, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today we are doing some lips. So you could see this patient, obviously we went ahead and just started the treatment right away. So prior to this, she was completely numbed with topical anesthetic, um, some BLT, cleaned off really well, alcoholed, she's nice and clean, and now we're going in and injecting. You can see that I have the filler backfilled into a smaller syringe so that when I'm doing this AFE right angle technique, I can kind of really control how much product I'm pushing. Not very much is coming out with every injection because with this technique, we're a little more superficial, so we don't want to risk any kind of tindling or pushing so much product that it kind of bubbles up and becomes too superficial in the lip and then you can kind of see it and no one likes that. So backfilling into these smaller syringes just really helps to control how much product you are pushing, but you can see even using a very small amount of product still really lifts up and gives the lip a beautiful appearance. So this is this patient's very first time getting her lips done, which is always exciting for an injector because we're starting fresh. Um, on lips that have never been touched, so we're not worried about old product or other injectors previously injecting them, causing any kind of um, filler migration, or maybe you're using a different product and the patient's not sure what they previously had in their lips, so then you're kind of worried about those products mixing together, so on and so forth. So it's really nice to have a patient who has never had their lips done before. Um, you can kind of make them your own and create some really nice, beautiful lips. So you can see I'm starting right within the pink of the vermilion border, never actually entering outside of the vermilion border, just so I'm not creating any kind of opening for the filler to migrate out of. That technique tends to be very spicy for patients, so you can see even though she was topically numbed, she can still feel it a little bit. But what's nice is that all of the products that we're going to use for lip filler all have lidocaine in them. So as I'm injecting and going across the entire lip, I'm actually making her more numb and more comfortable. So this technique just tends to be pretty pinchy. But once we get some filler everywhere within the lips, the patient tends to get more comfortable and is able to tolerate the procedure um, more and more as we go on. So you can see I kind of did that AFE right angle technique across the entire top lip, which definitely helped in lifting the lip up, creating more space to work with. So it's creating more lip show. So how much of the lip I see when I look at the patient straight on as opposed to lip projection, which is what you see looking at the profile of a patient, you know, how far out the lips kind of protrude or project outward. Most patients enjoy more lip show over projection just because it tends to be a little bit more natural appearing. So that's why on this patient, I'm also utilizing the AFE right angle technique all across the bottom lip as well, just to really help pull down the lip, give more of a pouty appearance, and again, just more shape and height of that lip. So now I have some filler that's left over that I backfilled into the 0.5 Comfortox syringes. So I'm just using those syringes and doing standard volume. Um, most of the time you'll see standard volume done with the actual syringe that the filler comes in, whether it's a 27 gauge or 30 gauge needle attached to it. Um, but because I had backfilled most of the product into these Comfortox syringes, I am just going and using those to do some standard volume, which works just as well. But again, as I said in the beginning, you're obviously pushing less product because it's a smaller gauge needle. So I tend to just push a little harder, push a little bit more product um, for those linear threads of standard volume just to ensure 
I don't have to poke the patient as many times. So you can see my depth. You can see kind of the blanching of the lip, which is what you want when you're injecting lips. You never want to be so deep that you don't see any kind of uh, color change to the tissue, never wanting to dive deep in anyone's lip to avoid any kind of vascular event. She definitely wanted, you can kind of see that I'm moving my hand in kind of an awkward way when I'm removing the syringe from the lip. She wanted more of a rounded Cupid's bow as opposed to a peaked Cupid's bow. So you can see that when I went in to the peak of the Cupid's bow, I kind of turned my hand in like a clockwise fashion to try to round it out as much as possible. Um, hence why you kind of saw me doing that little weird move with my hand. But that will kind of help in creating more of a round Cupid's bow as opposed to a peaked. I will say most patients like a peaked Cupid's bow, hence why the right angle technique is so phenomenal for that because it really just helps to lift up and peak that Cupid's bow. But this particular patient wanted it to be a little bit more rounded. So that is what we are trying to do. So now that she has filler pretty much everywhere in her top and bottom lip, you'll see how it kind of will start to massage here in a little bit. So massage is just as important as your injection technique. We find that sometimes you may look at a lip and they're just not quite perfect yet. There may be a little bit more filler on one side than the other, little asymmetries here and there. And sometimes just massaging the lip from one side to the next, really making sure it's the product is integrated in the tissue, um, that definitely can just kind of help perfect the lip. You don't always have to keep adding more and more filler. Sometimes they just need a good massage. So before I finish any kind of lip enhancement, when I know I only have a little bit of filler left, that's when I usually go in and massage everything so that I can get a really good picture um, as to what the patient is looking like. And then I can do little touch-ups here and there. I always sit the patient up. Um, I usually ask them a question or two just so I can see them talk and see how the filler moves in the lip. I have them smile if they can, depending on how numb they are. And then just really kind of get a good sense of what the lips look like straight on and all the way around before I do enhancements. So that's what I did with her, massaged, made everything look good, which it did. And now I'm going in with the Comfortox lip kit, which is amazing for patients. It's very pretty and it helps limit bruising and swelling. And we give one to every single one of our patients that come in and get their lips done. So that is it for this procedure. Thank you so much for watching and come get trained and certified by the AFE as soon as you can.